Hey y'all, Nicole here, your Gulf Coast gal. We are on Pass Road in Gulfport for the Mississippi Aviation Heritage Museum. I am really excited to check this place out. I've seen some pictures online and they have lots of really cool exhibits. I think it's 33,000 um, square feet of exhibit space and like 22 galleries. Originally, this was um, designed to honor Colonel John C. Robinson, also known as the Brown Condor. So I'm sure we're gonna learn more about him. Um, Gulfport Hero is what I've read Read. So I'm really excited to learn more about um, Colonel Robinson and take a look at all of the cool things they've got set up. So let's go. So when you first come in, you're going to come to the departures area. In the departures area, um, you'll check out. It's just $14 for adults and I'll be sure to drop all of the prices down below. All right, already I am just in awe. There are so many cool things to see and touch. Anything without ropes, you can actually go up and touch it. So we're gonna go jump probably in that plane over there and take some pictures, it's really exciting. Um, there is Colonel Robinson and his gallery over there. So I love how it's prominent and out in front so you can kind of learn all about the history um, about this Gulfport hero. And there's so many cool things to see. And there's a little gift shop area at the top. I love that you can actually interact with some of the items like this Jeep here. Um, anything again, that's not roped off and there's lots of great information. Pretty cool. Just a great space. And I love how they're in a building that has kind of been refab. So they're bringing this building to life and then bringing all these stories to life as well. Ready for takeoff. This is a shuttle capsule and it was signed by the one and only Fred Hayes. Super cool. It just amazes me how far aviation has come. Like there's a little, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can zoom in. A little teeny tiny plane up there. Oh, that would scare me, I think. <laughs> what about you? Pretty cool, y'all. And again, you can get in. Wow. Room for all my Gulf Coast gal pals. <laughs> all right, we are here learning about Mr. Robinson, Colonel Robinson. He was born in Florida and ended up moving to Gulfport after his father died. Great information. I'm not going to show you all of them because I want you to come here and experience it for yourself. Wow. All right, next up is the basis gallery. But before we head in there, I wanted to come over here to some of the engine demos. You can actually press the button and kind of start up the engine. Also, look how cool this is. It's a giant turbine engine from an airplane. I'm gonna stand next to it and show y'all. Okay, I come up about to the middle of it. It's huge. This is such a great experience for kids too because they can like press the button and touch and learn. Whoa. See how things work? And maybe even inspire a love of aviation. Pretty cool. And I think you can turn it up, let's see. Can. Whoa! You can break. That's really cool. Okay. We're gonna turn it off. Leave the fun for other people. Wow. Headed into the bases gallery. We have a couple bases here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. One of which is Keesler Air Force Base. We haven't been there just yet, but it's really cool that they tell you about 
all the different areas and bases here on the coast. Tells you where they're located with a nice little star. Lots of great information. Let's see what else? Columbus, Gulfport, Army Airfield. And then lots of fun memorabilia, patches. This is quite the collection. Wow. Oh my gosh, there is so much information in this gallery. I am going to just put the phone down for a minute and take it all in and learn as much as I can. I'll be sure to show you all some interesting tidbits and some sneak peeks along the way. But of course, I want you to come experience it for yourself. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. There's lots more to explore. We're just like in the first quadrant of the museum. So more to come. One other thing I wanted to show y'all is they offer a frequent flyer pass, which I thought was so cute. So you collect stamps and then you get a free entry. Right now we have two stamps. We're almost to a free entry. How cool is that? Such a great value. Be sure to scoop up your frequent flyer pass. I love that there's some information on Camp Shelby. We went up there not too long ago and there is an armed forces museum that I highly recommend you check out. You have to get on base. Um, to view it, but it is definitely worth the drive. So many great artifacts and really neat things to look at. A bunch of different airplane models. This old camera. Sorry about the glare, that's just what happens with glass cases. Old Life magazine from 1942. Pretty cool. And then we're just continuing on. This is a really cool device they have um, for you to kind of interact with and look at. I don't know if you can see or not because of the reflection, but there are little planes all over the place. So we are right around here, I believe. Yep, we're right here, little dot. Um, and you can see all the little airplanes around us. And you can actually click and interact with the airplanes and learn a little bit more about the aircraft. They're flight path and where they're going. That one's going to LaGuardia, New York from New Orleans. So they have class right over us. And then you can see storms and weather and such. So what um, the really nice curator of the museum was telling me was um, all of these have been diverted from around the storm over around the New Orleans area because of that weather. So if you are traveling to the area or you just really love flight paths and all of the logistics go into that. This is a really cool thing to kind of take a look at and interact with for a little bit and learn more about um, the types of airplanes and the different uh, legs of journeys. Like I said, this one's coming from New Orleans to LaGuardia. And then there's quite a few other things. You can see other aircraft on here. I think I spotted, oh yeah, a helicopter. I don't know if you can see it or not right there and you can click on each one of them and learn a little bit more about that aircraft so pretty cool Let's see airbus helicopters how old it is pretty neat awesome thank this is pretty cool it's like a big parachute display there's one kind of unpacked and rolled and then there's one hung in the back from the mannequin right there could you imagine packing your own parachute that just seems crazy to me um my dad was interested in doing some crazy jumping out of an airplane shenanigans and if we do that i'll be sure to take y'all along i don't know if it's gonna happen anytime soon but here are some brave souls that did decide that did decide to do that pretty cool mayor billy hughes landing at jones park that's awesome doing a tandem jump how fun people in central Mississippi and then north Mississippi. Wow. Let's go take a look. Other stuff? There's just so much to do. You could spend a good half of a day here. Iwo Jima? Wow. I guess it's part of a parachute? Mariana Isles, flight engineer. Oh my gosh. An old sewing machine. A 
and then they do birthday parties too so this is kind of like a little kids interactive zone lots of fun stuff for the little ones and then more of those fun touch screens that they can play on flight control hd that's so cute this would be a fun place to have a birthday party there's a little video game over there and then again anything that they have set up you can like touch and play on this is also really cool there's a local program that is held down here on the mississippi gulf coast for eighth graders it's pathways to possibilities they're able to go experience a bunch of different careers but they've got career options right here and the different occupations and their annual salary range pretty neat there's a photo op back here a birthday party room pretty cute lots of fun you feel like you're in space pretty cool so many great interactive experiences i don't even know and maybe this is a race and you have to like make sure you don't hit hit around it okay right, like right there Ooh. if you do you're gonna turn on the light and you don't want your light to turn on i would fail at that miserably <laughs> Maybe the Gulf Coast guy will do it with me in just a little bit. So much more to see. Okay. The flight simulator, some model planes and helicopters, it's like. Pretty cool. Could not wear all that leather here in South Mississippi. Mississippi 99s. Pretty cool. Lots of uniforms and things. And then another cool thing, I asked um, Aiden, the curator about it, and he said that you can see the Hurricane Hunters sometimes when they take off from the Gulfport area. Um, traveling around on that flight tracker. So I thought it was pretty cool. And then here we are at the Hurricane Hunters exhibit. If you're not familiar, I definitely recommend you check them out. They also have a theater area. So we're gonna go have a seat in there and watch a little video in our airline seats. Another cool section of the museum or another gallery they have are um, quite a few notable Mississippians. So pay in tribute to all of those from Mississippi who um, had some, some impact on aviation or had that influence in their lives. So you can learn a little bit more about them. This is Colonel Lawrence E. Roberts from Past Christian. I believe he was one of the Tuskegee Airmen, which you can learn more about in the gallery right next door. Pretty phenomenal. There's quite a few people. They have a bust of him as well. Um, they have quite a few other people from Mississippi in this gallery. Just when I thought this place couldn't get any cooler, there's also another theater showing veteran stories. So we're gonna take a look and it looks like an airplane. So I'm gonna cruise in here and, uh, and check it out. Front row, of course. <laughs> First class seats. Lots more to explore. We just did the kind of outside rim and now I'm gonna do all of the inside things and look at all that stuff. I'm so excited. There's so much to explore. Again, you can probably spend a whole half a day in here um, looking at all the things and reading and learning exhibits and you're still not gonna take it all in. They also have um, a display set up on crop dusting and the farm. Um, pretty pretty cool. You can kind of take a look at their little country farm set up over there as well as um, a homemade plane. I think it's called the Easy Eagle that you can build on your own for like $10,000. Whoa pretty pretty crazy there's also some information on the gulf coast over here and then in, like a whole setup display how propellers are built and modeled and it's pretty neat what an amazing place um i again could spend half a day a whole day in here just reading all the things and learning as much as i can and if you have any love for aviation, airplanes. Um, if your kiddos love airplanes or aviation or um, the military, I highly recommend you come out and check out the Mississippi 
Aviation Heritage Museum, right on Pass Road in Gulfport. Um, I think it was $28 for the Gulf Coast guy and I, and there is plenty to do and see in here. And to be able to have a hands-on experience with some of the items and learn about the local um, connection um, was just so special to me. I can't wait to come back. I wanna bring other people and I encourage you to do the same. But that's it for me, Gulf Coast gal. Please consider liking and subscribing to the YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on more activities, attractions like the Mississippi Aviation Heritage Museum and other amazing things you can only do here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast.